What's up everybody? Well, I got another ASUS G15 Advantage video for you guys today. Now, this video is gonna be kind of short, but somebody asked me how I got MSI Afterburner looking so clean and nice. So I figured in this video, I'll show you guys where to go download it from and then how to set it up to look just like mine. And I'll go through all the settings, just scroll through them so you guys can see all the settings are. There's so many more settings than what I show. I have mine pretty minimalistic just to not take up so much of the screen so you guys can still see the gameplay and whatnot. As you guys have seen on my desktops though, those are the ones where I have a little bit more info. Like it, what every single core is doing megahertz wise and all of that. But I figured that would be a little bit too messy for the laptop, especially cause it's a little 1080p screen. So. Didn't want a bunch of, what do you call it? Numbers getting in the way and making it look, you know, hmm, what's a jumbled? Yeah, guess jumbled works. Too soon to just a bunch of jumbled numbers and too much to focus on and taking up too much space. So that's why I set it up the way it is. Only kind of what you guys really need to see. And recently I added hotspot temp in, as someone suggested as well. That's what the second hotter temp is. It's always like 100, 101. But anyway, so in this video, we'll show you all that. And then I'll show you a little, for the people who haven't seen any mighty videos, and this might be the first one I click on, I'll show you what I'm talking about by running a quick uh, valley. Not gonna actually do the benchmark portion, but we're just gonna like run it so you guys can see the afterburner screen up in the corner and I can show you guys and talk about what each individual thing is and how we got it and whatnot. And then we'll wrap the video on up. It's not gonna be a very long video here, but still want to do it as it was a request and I like to do requests. That's one of the main things on this channel. So in any case, let's get into the video, shall we? Well, all right, guys. So to start with the get MSI afterburner, you can just type it in on Google here and you can go to the main site right there or or if you prefer, you can also go to Guru3D or TechSpot. Just be careful what the sites go to. Not all of them are safe like those ones, but let's keep things simple and go straight to their actual website. No, go away, you. And then hit Download Afterburner. Give it a second. It should start downloading. Boom. Now we've got it. And after that, you can just open it up, unzip it, and then we can proceed from there. Now, after you have unzipped it and installed it, you'll get these two windows that you can use. Make sure you install Reva Statistics Server while you're installing it too. I would have shown you the whole installation progress, but I, I didn't want to uh, mess up any of my settings that we have here. But anyway, so if you want to mess with what shows up in your on screen display, you can come right to this screen and make sure you put a check mark. And then after that, so let's just give you an example. You click on that like so, hit show on screen. And then there you go. But we don't want that, so we're just gonna get rid of that. And then here's the rest of my settings. So if you wanna pause and you can copy them if you want it to look just like mine does, or you can make it whatever you want. There's lots of options here. I just didn't wanna make the window too gigantic with too much stuff to focus on. So I try to keep it a little bit more simple, unlike on my desktops. And then if we go down a little farther here, we got RAM usage, and we got frame rate and frame time and all that stuff down here. Now, for some reason, none of these work. Uh, even though I have them all set up to show up, they never show up. There might be more to that one. So obviously, I don't know how that one works. But if you want that to be a text graph, just come here, the drop down menu, hit text graph, and then it'll show up the little graph with the little bar uh, like mine kind of looks like a, one of those heart monitors. It's better to have a visual for screen, like frame time skips and stuff. So that's why I have it that way. And then beyond that, you also have this screen, which you can move the size of how big it is in the corner down there and everything and add programs like this. So let's say something isn't showing you the on-screen display for some odd reason. So we're just using it as an example. Let's just go, let's see, fuck it, code vein. Let's say code vein wasn't showing up, our OSD for some reason. This is one of the ways you might be able to get it to work. Hit it like that, and then relaunch the game, and it should work as long as it doesn't have some anti-cheat that blocks it. There's a couple games I've tried that no matter what I try, I can't get anything to get give me FPS data. So, And you can also mess with other stuff on the side over here as well. So now, let's move on to an example. Well, all right. Let's try and show you guys this screen here. Here we go. Now we've got our GPU usage and megahertz temp of the core, and then you got your hotspot temp and how much watts it's using. And under that, you've got the 
CPU temps and megahertz and wattage, whatever it's using, like Direct 3D, Vulkan, DirectX 12, and you got your frame rate, frame time, and that little graph thing I showed you. And it, of course, tells you your memory and uh, memory megahertz up there, too. And there's some stuff that just doesn't show up for whatever reason, like those minimums and whatever. So I'll have to do a little more research and try and get that working for you guys, because that'd be a nice addition. Anyway, though, why don't we now go wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for this video. Hopefully I did a good enough job showing you guys. The only thing I didn't show you is literally how to install it, but it's literally just hitting next a bunch of times. I didn't want to possibly ruin my stuff. I have the absolute worst luck, like uninstalling programs and reinstalling them, expecting them to work the same way. And then all of a sudden they're like, no, no, they work fine for everybody else. But you, you did something? No, now it's terrible. So that's why I don't like, that's why I never redid Windows or tried to reinstall any of that stuff because my laptop been working great ever since I bought it. I haven't had any of the crazy problems people have had besides, you know, it being a little warm. So I tried that, failed. It is what it is, you know, no biggie. So in any case, as I was saying, I hope I did a good enough job explaining how to install it and what all the settings do and whatnot. So if you guys have any other questions, obviously leave a comment. And if this is not what the person wanted, let me know. And I don't mind redoing it. If I mess up, I don't mind redoing my videos at all. But I think this is a pretty good example of how to set it up and what all the settings do and whatnot. So I don't think that'll be the case. But in Anyway, now it's time for me to go make the second video I wanted to make today, which was checking out that universal tuning utility. I want to ha go have it versus the armory crate and see which one does better. But that'll be the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though, because I still enjoyed making it for you, even though it was rather short. But until the next video, guys, peace out.